there's a new artificial intelligence superstar in the graphic design space, and it's creating quite the disturbance. From some people saying the era of graphic designers is over, to business owners loving the idea that they can actually fire their entire design team. But should we graphic designers be worried about artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is an insult! And furthermore, what is a DAL-E or DAL-E 2? DAL-E was the first AI in a series of software programs. Now it was, and it still is a way to create images from text inputs. People would make funny outcomes and share them online. There's actually an entire Twitter account with over a million followers that shows some of the best outcomes from DAL-E. But watching this software come into this world and actually being used was a lot like how people go aww when they watch a kitten try to chase a laser pen. It was benign, it was cool, and it was kind of cute. The thing about kittens is that they eventually grow up. Dal-E was then spawned into something else entirely, something a bit more sinister. A little later in today's video, we're going to look at an awesome web-based tool that makes the process of generating editorials and websites super, super easy. And there's also a neat discount too for Satori viewers. The team creating this software were obviously highly imaginative and they called it, drumroll please, Dali 2. Over the last month or so, Dali 2 has been going through a beta test. Only a few select people have been granted access to try it out and see what it can actually do. And as far as the results go, it's pretty shocking actually. Now take a look at this Vice magazine cover that was created in 2017 by the AI software DC GAN. Big deal, right? This is something an eight-year-old kid could probably make themselves. But then check out what Dali 2 has created recently. It's a pretty decent cover design, I would say. Now, personally, I would change a few aspects of the typography, such as the kerning and the layout. But all in all, it's not actually that bad. But is that bad for us designers? Here's the thing. Artificial intelligence, well, at the moment anyway, isn't something that can be used on its own flawlessly. Much like how we use, say, for example, Adobe Illustrator. The program uses a lot of built-in algorithms to do things automatically, such as using the Smooth tool. Illustrator uses algorithms to predict what would be the best outcome for your line in terms of smoothness. But importantly, the designer is still at the wheel. But what about DALI 2? Well, here's a prime example. Now, Joseph Hillenbrand used the software to show what could actually work well for a client whilst the designer is still in control. DALI 2 was able to create business cards with relevant backgrounds. For example, here, a beach theme that might appeal to a client who has a brand based around the beach or coast. He also shows how it can make poster design mockups and also package designs too. So, as you can see in this instance, it's being used to streamline and speed up the process of making mockups to present to a client. Notice how the role of graphic designer is still involved in this process. Even Joseph admits that it still isn't perfect. And that begs the question, will AI ever be perfect? There may be many things that computers just cannot replicate when it comes to the human act of designing. Sometimes, however, artificial intelligence can do a whole lot more than just help. Alibaba's Lubin tool can generate 8,000 banner ads per second, according to the company. In 2018, it produced more than 6 million banners for 200,000 merchants as part of Alibaba's Double Eleven shopping festival. And that's one busy AI. A professor at FIT's Communication Design Foundation said that none of these banner ads generated by Lubin are masterpieces, but that doesn't mean they don't have or serve a purpose. The real question is whether they are effective as banner ads, and the answer is yes, according to this person. Actually, however, I have a completely different opinion. You cannot teach an algorithm to know how to target a specific group of people in terms of psychological responses with their design. Not yet, anyway. Machines cannot understand the subtle nuances of human beings and how we think and feel in regard to marketing and graphic design. At least, not efficiently, anyway. To me, DALI 2, at the moment, is just something that can be helped to streamline the role of a graphic designer. And it's also pretty cool at making art, too. Let's not go ahead and confuse graphic design with art. It's a tool, and with any kind of tool, it depends on how the user actually uses it. What DALI 3 will look like, and what it will be capable of, is an entirely different matter. To me, 
graphic design skills are incredibly valuable. Now, if you follow this channel, you will know that I like to take things deeper than just say designing something in Photoshop. If you understand design from a psychological point of view, you can do things like set up a brand or business, become a marketing expert, or create change in your community or online. To me, the key to actually moving forward in graphic design is to really pay attention to psychology. And that's because, of course, psychology isn't something that AI can understand or grasp at the moment. But are you worried about DALI 2 or even the former DALI? Let me know in the comment down in the comment section below. Now, are you looking for a web tool that will make the process of creating outstanding editorials and websites for clients quick and easy? Or maybe you just want some features that will help make your projects more interactive and add more depth with no code involved. Well, the sponsor of today's video can be used to create amazing and unique websites without any coding necessary. ReadyMag is a design tool made by designers for designers, and it's something that I do personally believe in. It's highly intuitive with a drag and drop editor, and it gives you access to advanced typography and animations. Also, importantly for websites, using ReadyMag, you can actually have advanced SEO features for Google Analytics to measure the success of your projects. You can use a variety of highly customizable templates created by the ReadyMag team and users. Now, with a freelancer plan, you can create up to five different websites with an unlimited number of pages and map up to three domains on your accounts. You can also invite up to two collaborators to work on projects jointly using the collaboration function. Now using the promo code Satori16, the first 50 users can try out the freelancer plan for just $16. Use the link in the description box below. But if you guys haven't had your fill of graphic design goodness today, just click a video on screen. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.